Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to manage the manufacturing um, in two-step. So when using the manufacturing in two-step, Odoo creates a manufacturing order and pick the component transfer. But this does not generate the movement of the product into the stock. But this always counts and update the um, product that is manufactured. But this will not track the movement of the product into and from of the inventory. So let's see how can we manage the manufacturing in two step in order to send any manufacturing module. To manage with the manufacturing in two step, first we have to enable the multi-step routes from the configuration settings of the inventory module. This would let the user to set the levels of the manufacturing. So you can manage the levels of the manufacturing from the configuration. Under the warehouse management, we can find the warehouse where you can set the manufacturing levels such as pick components and then move to the um, manufacturing center in order to manufacture the item. So as you just move on to the routes here, you can find that we just need to pick the component and then we will be moving that component into the manufacturing area. So here we will be performing two rules that is we have to pull uh, the items. So when the products are needed in the pre-production, we will pick the components and that are created from the work, I mean warehouse stock to fulfill the needs. And later on, we also just need to perform another pull operation. So when the product are needed in the virtual location or in the production locations uh, of manufacturing, I mean manufacturing orders will be created in the warehouse pre-production in order to fulfill the need. And a need is created in the warehouse pre-production and a rule will be triggered in order to fulfill that. So later on, you can set the rule likewise and move on to the manufacturing module. Here we are just going to manufacture the product cabinet wood door. So as you just move on to the uh, products here, you would be able to find we just require different components in order to manufacture the product cabinet wood door, such as bolt, screw, as well as wooden panel. And um, we just need to tell our system that we require these components in order to manufacture the product cabinet wood door. So under the bill of material here, you can see that we can set the reference as two step as we are just going to uh, manufacture this product. You can set the BOM like. I mean, beyond type likewise, and uh, you can set the components that is required for manufacturing the item. So in order to manufacture the product cabinet wood door, these components will be removed from the inventory and the main product cabinet wood door will be manufactured. So the uh, product have to be picked from the stock uh, and move in order in, into the pre-production area. So this will be 10 under the operation assembly uh, line one work center and that the operation will be assembling of these items in order to manufacture the cabinet wood door. So once you have done with that, you can just move on to the operations and uh, choose the manufacturing order and let's create new manufacturing order. Where you can choose the uh, manufacturing order which is two step uh, with cabinet wood door. As you just choose the BOM, all the components and work orders will be auto populated over here. Now let's confirm the manufacturing order. But under the work order, you can see that the components are waiting and we just need to pick the item and move to the pre-production area. So in order to do that, we have to perform a transfer. For that, you can just click on pass date. And here you would be able to find that now the components are ready and we can plan uh, for manufacturing the item from the work uh, center assembly line one. So click on plan and here you can see that now we can just start our manufacturing. Now once the manufacturing is done, you can just click on 10 and we have just done with that. But still the inventory cycle or the inventory count won't be updated over here. So as you just move on to the product here, you can see that already we had two components, uh, or, I mean two uh, on hand quantity of cabinet wood door over here. Now in order to update the quantity, we have to close the production. And in order to close the production, you can just move on to the shop floor. And here you can just click on shop, I mean close production for uh, the cabinet wood door. So as you just close the production and as you just move on to the uh, product cabinet wood door, here you would be able to find that the component or the on hand quantity of the main product cabinet wood door is now updated and set to 3. Uh, and uh, from this, we can conclude that this is how we just manage with the two-step uh, manufacturing in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. So I hope this video clarifies how to manage the manufacturing in two-step in Odoo 17 manufacturing module. So if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprosis as always. 
Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.